Hi everybody and welcome back to Apple Cottage. This is Sandy. I am Suburban Home Center, Wyoming. Well, it's a beautiful morning. We're supposed to get rain this afternoon, so that would be nice. And I'm just doing one of my chores that I do all summer long. And that's making, taking black gold and making Texas tea. Now what is that? Well, as you know, I have rabbits. And the reason I have rabbits, and I, you're, you know, I talk about this all the time. They are so good. I mean, they're lovable and they're cuddly and I like them because they're sweet. But the reason I have them is for their poo, plain and simple. The thing I like about rabbit poo is that it's not hot, so I can use it right away. In fact, I can just scoop it out and throw it in my raspberry patch or in my garden. And as it rains or I water, it just starts to decompose and it makes its own little tea. But if I didn't want to do that faster, which I do all summer long, I use five gallon buckets. So I'm gonna show you the process of what I do to make my black gold. I take my black gold and make it into Texas tea. Every time I make manure tea, I always think of the Be Beverly Hillbillies song and that black gold Texas tea and it runs through my brain every single time I'm making it. And so, I've just always called it my black gold in Texas tea. Here we are underneath the rabbit cages. Straw, manure. The reason why I have rabbits is because I want to have manure for my plants. And I mean, I like them. They're cute. They're fun. They eat extra produce. But the real reason is this right here. Black gold to make Texas tea. This is my system for making rabbit manure tea. So I have three regular five gallon buckets. This one's already started so that you could see it. It's got the rabbit manure in there, some of the bedding falls in there, and the water. But how do I do that? Well, I start with buckets with holes in it. Like this bucket just has holes in the bottom. This bucket has holes all the way around the sides. Either way it works, it doesn't matter. And so I'm setting those in the five gallon buckets. And then I'm gonna put one half of that bucket full with rabbit manure. So the buckets are about halfway full and I just start filling them with water. And I'm gonna fill them as full as they will go. Now this one over here won't fill up all the way because the bottom bucket has some cracks along the rim. But this, this one and the one over here will fill up really far. So I'm just gonna fill them up and I'll be back. Well, they're filled up and I will get some cloth and some twine to cover them because I don't want any flies, mosquitoes making their home in the rabbit poo. So let's cover them up. Oh, it's right by my dragonfly. You can use any kind of string, jute, yarn, anything that you have, large rubber bands even, to tie the material onto the pot. And what I do is I just go right below that first rim, go all the way around, and I just went into Joe's rag bag in his garage of things that he uses and I just found some t-shirts and cloth and I just tie a string around them. And then they are gonna sit here for seven days. They get the early morning sun and then they get late afternoon sun for a couple hours. And that's enough to heat them up and steep them. And I won't have to add any water because of the cloth and we will have wonderful manure tea. Well, I hope you thought that was interesting. And the main reason why those covers are on there is just because I don't want a bunch of flies flying all over the place and it just stops them. And I don't want mosquito larvae in there either. So those are gonna sit for seven days. Then when I pull those buckets out, because of the holes, they just drain out and I have all of my um, manure tea right in there. Of course, it's too strong right then. So I um, add one part of the manure tea to two to three parts of just plain water. And if it's a new plant, I dilute it even a little bit more. 
but it is a great fertilizer and it's just a byproduct of my rabbits and I really appreciate that. So this is Sandy. As always, like, subscribe, share with the world. Have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. Look at these fun little sunflowers that are growing. They came, there's just a feeder right by here. And now I have little sunflowers growing. Have a great day.